lot of times in bike racing, when you guys feel good, like Eno felt great, like he had the legs to ride all day, sometimes we get so overconfident that we start doing really, really silly things. And Joe was like just waiting. So Eno and all of you guys, when you're the best guy in the group, all you have to do is hide it. Sit in the back and just, if the dangerous move goes, you know you're strong enough to cover. Joe, right, rode perfect because he was strong enough and he did just enough. He never showed you guys how strong he was. Whenever he needed to go across, bang, he went across. So who, who watched Joe close a gap down like that today? Did you ever think, like, he did that really fast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Joe point showing point. a card. <laughs> right. And that a lot of guys will do that. The crafty guys, they'll, they'll jump across. If you haven't seen them all day and you see them nail a gap like that down that fast, it means they're doing pretty good for themselves. But they had to show it to get there. Mm -hmm. Guys that he went across to, they didn't see him show that card. They had no idea because they weren't looking back. Well, guys, don't be afraid to communicate, communicate, communicate. Hesitation, right, is no longer in our vocabulary. Like a good example of hesitation was Cascade when we had to chase. I go back and talk to Keith and we're like, you know, should we chase right away or not? Should, what, what should we do? And I'm thinking the guys that are up, up the road, right? It's a dangerous move. It's a strong move. Right. Everyone's represented except for us. Right. Connor's in New Jersey and a good place overall. Right. So we're going to burn the guys and we're going to hit the reset button because we have to do it now. Otherwise, okay. otherwise it's over. Right, because we're not going to be able to bring back a four minute gap. Right, so I'm going to bring it back when it's 30 seconds. It's going to suck, but we're not going to hesitate and we're going to do it right now. Right, okay. so he puts Corey on the bumper, they drive by, I get to chase you guys for like four minutes. Stupid. So Paul and I talked about it. You know, obviously, I see it recognized. He's trying to teach me something. So I sat down last night and I said, Paul, what are you trying to teach me? He then went down the list and explained team time trial, first team goes. My man Heath is gone, so I wait for Heath. But what happens? I blew myself up trying to get there, and then so as soon as we get to the group, I can't pull, right? So all of a sudden we're down a guy because I was trying to save a guy. Way better way to solve that problem. Go to my five guys, say guys, we're gonna get organized, and we're just gonna keep it chill till Heath gets here. It was much better for me to use my voice and communicate to each of you, hey guys, we've got to pause for a second until Heath gets here, and then we're going to roll smooth. Yeah. So that's why I have to listen to him and be understand that I can't just use my legs. I have to use anything.